Hi dolls. Apologies for my long absence. Hopefully, today I can make it up to you by showing you how I restored the side part bubble cut Barbie and her box. The one I have is a white ginger. We'll start by addressing the yellowed vinyl by submerging her in the denture tablet solution. After about two weeks, she has lightened quite well. To address the green ear stains, I soak some tissue in a CLR substitute and leave it on for about a month. One of the arms has some marker stains, but our trusty removes it should take care of that. I neutralized the solution by cleaning it off using Formula 911. Now, it's time to start on the box. As you can tell, there's a lot of damage. Most sane people would probably just throw it out and get a new one, but I'm determined to make it look presentable. I take care of the old glue residue on the surface by scrubbing it using rubbing alcohol. Then gave the entire thing a general light scrub to remove some of the accumulated dirt. To deal with the rips and tears, I start by mixing PVA glue and water, and I used rolling papers to stabilize everything. This box was practically falling apart at every single corner, so I had to take my time and carefully place the glue drenched papers in between the two broken pieces, creating a bridge. To stabilize it, I place it between two weights so that it doesn't spring back. On the top of the box, I unfortunately had to bridge the tear that went through the first illustration, but I'll come back and deal with it later. While I let it dry, I'll move on to the face and come back later. The paint loss is not major, 
but the few spots where she did need a bit of a touch up ended up making such a huge difference in the end result. The buttery yellow lips are a clear sign that this doll once had pink lips, so I custom mixed my own acrylics and started applying in thin layers until I am satisfied with the intensity of the pigment. Lastly, I apply blush to the apple of her cheeks, which really complements the face up on the stall. Now back to the box. I did my best to make my retouching as little invasive as possible. I know there's a big crossover between my viewers and Baumgartner's viewers, which, as a huge fan, I appreciate immensely. That is why I know you guys will understand that this kind of restoration, much like painting, isn't aimed at making things look perfect. Rather, it's just making sure that your eye isn't drawn only to the damage, but you can focus on the box as a unit. And I'm also trying my best to make sure that it does not deteriorate any further. Some may consider this overkill, but I give a coat of paint to the inside of the box where there is quite obvious water damage, just for my own peace of mind. What I like about sideboards is how easy it is to style the hair into the original hairstyle, with the main feature being the side curl, and the front which swoops beautifully into a wave of curls. I added these plastic post earrings to make sure that the cream plague never can affect the stall again. They will be available on my Etsy soon if you're interested. And that is it, we are done! Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my content, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And please follow me on Instagram if you would like to see more. See you in 25 years!